One could say Kevin is just a regular facility manager, but he is not. Kevin is able to see the future. He keeps an eye on every detail in the building so nobody has to breathe stale office air. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to look at some employee office technologies, or basically it's just tracking software, but they're disguising it as smart office technology and how it revolutionizes the employee's ability to navigate the office and be more productive. And what it really does is it just ends up tracking people and making it easy to spy on them and knowing their habits and their patterns and their behavior so that they can use that to leverage it against you as a worker. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at one of these. Let me tell you a story about the time data and knowledge from buildings granted ordinary people superpowers. The story of Symbiose. Follow me to the company's headquarters. A new day had barely begun, but the office was unexpectedly vibrant. I don't know, like, any offices that are this vibrant when the days have just begun. Where's where's all the people walking around with their mugs of coffee like, Ugh, I can't even function right now. Let's meet Mary first. She's a master of concentration. Thanks to information being gathered in real time, she knows exactly where to go if she needs to focus. All right, so let's just pause right here. This is the first major issue with this software of Symbiose. You can see where everyone's at, pretty much. You can see where everyone's at and what everyone's doing. And it, this basically just tracks people walking around the office. Now they say that they don't do this, but as you can see, these look like little people that are walking around the office and you know, now the next thing they do is they tell you, hey, why don't you download this app on your phone so that you can connect with our office system and now they can identify who is who walking around the office. Again, they're trying to tell you how easy it is to know where you can go have a meeting if you can just look on the screen and see where everyone is already at. Now this just this is just bait for all kinds of ways for the company to leverage your behavior against you. A brief look at the 3D virtual office model will do the job. Let's take a look elsewhere. I've just spotted Amy in a meeting room. She knows exactly how to set up an effective meeting atmosphere without even getting up. Shading, light, room temperature, she can even get a cup of coffee with a few clicks. All right, so let me pause it right here. Um, that's what interns do. This girl right here that's walking to that office with a cup of coffee, that's, that's what interns do. You take the difference between an entry-level position or a junior-level position and an intern. The, the difference is this lady right here taking, taking the person hosting meetings coffee. Here comes Paul. He can control the environment just by walking around. Anywhere he goes, any space he enters, his surroundings automatically respond to his personal preferences. There's another thing that I want to pause and talk about. Um, he can control the, the surroundings and the offices just by walking into the other rooms around him. How would they know to do that? There's no way to know that Paul's walking into a room without tracking him to know where he is, to know that he's coming into a room. There's just zero way for him to know, which means like, again, they're trying to phrase this so that it's good that they can follow you around and see everything that you're doing. And wow, you can even change the room temperature when you come in. And But what this is really doing is this is just giving a bunch of data to your superiors of your behavioral patterns, how long you were out of the office or how long you left to go have a phone call or how long you left to go to lunch or how long you were in the bathroom even maybe they're not tracking the bathroom but if you're not in the office they can assume that if the doors to the front weren't open then they can assume that you're in the bathroom and they can leverage that against you there's all sorts of things that they can do with these analytics to just threaten your job thus improving his well-being and productivity there's the one honest thing it improves his productivity yeah well i mean if big brother's looking over your shoulder every two seconds for sure one could say Kevin is just a regular facility manager, but he is not. Kevin is able to see the future. He keeps an eye on every detail in the building so nobody has to breathe stale office air. He keeps an eye on every detail in the building so everyone can work at their best and make sure, you know, that the, the air is good. And what this is just, this is the person that's responsible for tracking you. But again, if you phrase it correctly, I'm not tracking you. I'm just making sure every detail that comes to me is for your benefit. Again, more, more examples of bullshit here. 
and the meeting rooms are ready, right on time. Tom and Lucas can move things. Not just things, entire teams. Thanks to data, I could tell that their teams needed more interaction. The recent relocation of putting their teams closer together seems to have done the trick. It was a smart move. They now save hours every week, thus boosting their collaboration. Wow, they, they moved a movable wall separating desks and that boosted their collaboration. Wow, that is, that is just game-changing technology. Can you imagine that if you remove walls from rooms, people might talk to each other if they're in the same room? I don't know, bro. This is like, this is like 2020 technology. This is mind-blowing. This is game-changing right here. Are you wondering what their secret is? It's an environment where you can work your best where it's as easy and as comfortable as possible for you. God, this is like this is this is like from a from a sci-fi movie. It's as easy and possible for you to work if you just accept it and let us track you and our rooms will monitor you so that you can work your best. It's so creepy. Like even the lady's voice that's narrating this is like it's like from the movie Her, where that guy's like dating a AI. I help you fully focus on your daily routines. I help you fully focus on your daily routines because I can tell when you're not focusing and I'll probably report that to your superiors. Because everything else is already taken care of. By me, I am Symbiazy. Oh, that is so creepy. There's no need for this. So why go into an office at all? Because in an office, we can. Oh, I can't wait for this bullshit. In an office, we can create, exchange, innovate. You can do all that at home too. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. We got face to face. Uh, there's, this, there's this revolutionary app. I think it's been out for a few years. It's called FaceTime. Smart offices become part of the team by connecting people to buildings. I don't want to be connected to a building. That's fucking, this is creepy. Smart offices enable us to do more and better with less impact on the environment. You know what would be a great impact on the environment is if you didn't have to build a building at all and instead you could just stay where you're at or you know go anywhere in the world and work just like you said at the beginning of the video smart offices provide location aware information and notifications again how do you think that they're getting this information tracking is this giving a man an eta to a meeting room 0.7 kilometer walk to a meeting room 12 minutes who needs that well, people have been having meetings fine for the last hundred years without needing a GPS to get to it. Are you serious? Anyways, that was that that was today's video. It was just a quick Google of the disgusting company tracking that's uh, just getting worse and worse as time goes on, disguised to make your life working easier, so that you can make the more money. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, if you thought it was insightful, maybe share it. Click subscribe. Hit like if you did. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I've been working on some courses and stuff. It's down in the description. We got entrepreneurship. We got branding. We got career advice. We got all the good stuff. Um, it's I'm, so I'm sponsoring myself again. Go check it out. Uh, thank you so much. It helps support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.